Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing an extreme closet clean out. And I really mean extreme. I'm talking about a purge, okay? I want a purge to happen in my closet. The last time I cleaned out my closet was about a year ago. And although I did get rid of a lot of clothes, I also feel like I held on to a lot of clothes that I wasn't ready to let go of just yet. I already went ahead and took out all the clothes from my closet and I have them laying down in this big pile right in front of me. So I'm already looking at some of these things and I don't feel connected to a lot of them. When I look at my closet right now, it just looks so overcrowded and cluttered and although I'm so grateful to be able to have a lot of these clothes a lot of them are not pieces that I would actually wear anymore so I really want to go into today's video asking myself these four questions whenever I'm deciding whether to keep or donate or sell a clothing item I want to ask myself first and foremost do I wear this often would I even miss this if it wasn't in my closet anymore number two does it fit well if it fits too tight before after or during a meal I don't want it anymore. No more of this, oh, I'll keep this in my closet until I can fit into it mentality. I'm done with that. The next question is, is it comfortable? Is it high quality fabric? And the last question is, does it make me feel good? Do I feel happy and beautiful and confident when I wear this piece? I feel like by asking myself those simple questions, I'll have a better shot at coming out of this with the clothes that I truly love and saying goodbye to the clothes that I no longer want. We definitely have our work cut out for us because I have this big pile in front of me and then I also have to do my clothes in my dresser which is like my yoga pants, my pajamas, my like loungewear t-shirts and stuff like that. It's not that much so I think it'll be fine but I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's get started. This pile of clothes are my going out attire. So in here I have sweaters, jackets, blazers, shirts, long sleeves, crop tops, pants, shorts, one skirt. The smallest section of clothes that I have are bottoms. So shorts, um, pants, all that. So I think it's gonna be easier to go through this section first. bought these for my trip to Texas and I haven't worn them since and I like them I want to make them work each time I try them on to wear them but it just doesn't work out and I keep saving it because I'm like they're cute and they're still new but like it doesn't work out These are all the clothes that I'm gonna be keeping so far. This is the donate pile. And all of this is still yet to be determined. I've been at this for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and I've made a pretty solid dent in my closet. So I think the only way to truly determine whether or not I wanna keep these clothes is to try them on, which is a little bit of a drag because I'm kinda of hot, I'm kind of over it, but it's good for you because we're gonna have a fashion show. I don't want to like get demonetized, but like look, they're not going up. This one may be a little too tight. <laughs> Why is it so hard to get this on my head? Damn. Uh, I think we're having a part two to that situation. Did my head freaking grow? I feel like I'm going fencing <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> on guard. <laughs> At first glance, this shirt is really cute. Very simple and basic, but still you look really put together. This is something that I would typically keep because I do like the way it looks on me. The only problem is your girl is kind of busty. 
very busty. And this happens all the time and it ruins my shirts. I gotta retire this shirt. I've had a deep, deep love for this shirt for the longest time, but it's a little bit tight fitting around the arms and I don't like how it makes my arms look. And I was thinking about keeping it because I do love this shirt but there's holes in it. And although yes, that could be fixed very easily, I just feel like that's a sign. It's time to give it a rest, it served its purpose, and it is time to let you go. I was actually considering keeping this one, but there's like two permanent stains right here. So I officially just finished with all the clothes in my closet. I have a bag and a half full of clothes that I'm gonna be donating. I decided that I didn't really feel like these clothes were worthy of selling or that anyone would really necessarily want to buy them so i just decided to donate them so now that i sorted through all the clothes that are in my closet now i want to tackle the clothes that are in my dresser this should be fairly easy and a quick process because it's just my clothes that are like loungewear pajamas uh yoga pants and stuff like that so there's a little bit to go through like a little bit more than you would expect but i think we can knock this out pretty fast That was actually way easier than I thought it'd be. Uh, I got rid of all this. So, after about a total of three hours, I finally finished cleaning up my entire wardrobe. And I have two very heavy trash bags worth of proof to show you. <laughs> I feel so tired after going through all my clothes, trying them on. It was a bit draining, but honestly, holding these two bags in my hands right now feels 10 times better and it, it makes it feel all worth all worthwhile. So I'm super, super proud of myself for making this big of a, a dent. I said going into it that I wanted to purge my closet and then I wanted to make it extreme. Um, and I think I did that. <laughs> I basically got rid of more than 50% and it definitely shows my closet looks so much more organized and put together there's a lot of room each clothing piece actually has a special place in my heart and I'm super happy with that that was the goal the whole time so I think we accomplished a lot but with that being said it's pretty late right now and I'm so tired so I think I'm gonna call it a night but thank you guys so much for watching and joining this journey with me it honestly feels so good to clean out your closet and just simplify your life so if you're looking for some inspiration to do this i highly recommend it i think you should totally deep clean your life and declutter all the things that you don't necessarily love or need anymore and you'll feel a lot better by the end of it but that's it for this week's video if you liked it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below because that really helps my channel out a lot subscribe if you aren't already and as always i love you guys very much and i will see you on the next one bye